Welcome. Well, this is our tutorial on installing Greenstone, the new 2.86 version. Uh, this is for Windows. What I've done is download the uh, Greenstone 2.86 Windows EXE installer from greenstone.org and you'll notice it's in my download folder. Once I double click on that, it starts the installation process. Now, Greenstone's multilingual, uh, but typically we're going to be using English here so let's create next and then it tells us what it includes the Apache web server uh, there's a full-text search engine and image processor things like that so let's click next again there's a software license which you should read uh, no one does I'll click accept and then it says where it's going to install it to Typically, it installs to your users folder. So here we see I am users. My username is gnickers, and it's going to create a folder called Greenstone. So I'm going to click Next. You should keep that. Don't change that. It's best to keep that. It will create the folder for you, and it tells all the things it's going to install. Yes, yes, yes. Sounds good. Click Next. Now, the administration pages. You don't need admin pages because you're running Greenstone with its included web server on your own computer. So it's a web server on your computer that you can only connect to from your computer. So it's not accessible over the internet. In a library you would have a server that is accessible over the internet and thus you'd use administration pages. You don't need them here so we're not going to tick it so let's click next and it's ready i'll click show details so we can see what's going on and we'll click install and what it's doing is making directories and installing and do all that now when it's finished it'll be under our start windows uh, greenstone folder there will be a number of components involved with it one will be the server part which you really don't do anything with it will run automatically most of your time is going to be spent in the uh, greenstone librarian interface which is a tool that allows you to create collections you'll design your digital library you'll import things you'll do all your work in there there's also a metadata set editor tool that allows you to create your own metadata design. The metadata designer is really a database that holds the metadata, the, the cataloging records for items in your collection. Those are the main tools that you'll be using. Um, it works the same pretty well whether you're on Windows, a Mac, uh, different versions of Windows or Linux. It doesn't really matter. This is why it's written in Java because Java uh, runs on just about anything and programs written in Java thus look the same across uh, all applications. Now Greenstone does have the ability to have extensions installed with it. The extension uh, which is written by a third party that we're most interested in is called PDF Box. Now because PDF files have so many different versions and some are optimized for print, some have to be linearized for web, it is a bit difficult for programs to deal with all of these different versions. Um, the base Greenstone will only process uh, older PDF versions. It can't import newer files. The extension allows you to import files that are a little newer. So what we're going to do is take a look at how we'd install this third-party extension. If you're not going to be using PDFs, it don't have to use the extension, but it's quite common that PDFs are used in many types of digital libraries. In fact, the most common formats in digital libraries are HTML files, PDF files, uh, image files, JPEG, uh, and audio files, MP3. So uh, PDF files are very commonly used for collections that are text-based primarily, though PDF files can also have images in them. Okay, it's almost done. We see, you notice it's installing the web server. Uh, the web server will be running on port 80, by the way. And if you have another application on port 80, your Greenstone won't work. What other applications use port 80? The main culprit is Skype. Skype, for some 
reason, no one knows why, has a default use of port 80. In the options, uh, advanced networking thing, you can change that and you should. Um, the other application, if you're running an existing web server, for example, if you're running a WAMP, MAMP, LAMP, or XAMP to do web development on, that will run at port 80. So uh, you want to make sure you don't have an application already running that's going to conflict with your Greenstone. The other possible problem can be things like um, what are those uh, firewall stuff. If you've got some third-party firewall software to protect you, it may prevent you from accessing your Greenstone web server on your own machine. It's pretty dumb, but it can do that. Norton Utilities is infamous for doing such things. Uh, so you have to make sure that you're allowing connections from your machine to your machine on port 80. This doesn't mean you have any um, uh, vulnerability where it comes to someone coming across the internet. They can't get at it. So don't worry about that. Okay, it's done. So it took us three minutes to do it. It's finished. We have done the install. Once it's done, we can exit and then we'll be begin to run and take a look at it in future. Now, if you're running uh, Apple's OS 10 version 10.7, 10.8, or 10.9, you have to tell it to allow you to install third-party applications, i.e. non-Apple programs. Do this by clicking the Apple and going to System Preferences and selecting Security and Privacy. Now you just click on the General tab and then select the Anywhere radio button and you're OK. There's a number of ways of getting the uh, install application. You can go to the Greenstone webstone, website at uh, greenstone.org. If you have the Dropbox or Google Drive software installed, you could have copied it off the LIS 9720 uh, shared folder. Here we have it uh, gone to the website and we're downloading the Greenstone install application main thing here is to make sure you get the right version. Now even though you're running Snow Lion or whatever, uh, Mountain Lion, the one on the website for that does not work. I've tested on 10.7 and 10.9 and it does not work. However, the one for Leopard does. So make sure you install, download and install the Leopard version. Once it's downloaded, you can go to your Downloads uh, folder, double click it and that mounts a disk image called Greenstone. Uh, you can then double click the disk image and that opens up, shows you the installer application. You double click that and the install process starts. If you get an error message at this point, it's probably because you haven't told your OS that you uh, can install third-party applications. So go back to System Preferences and fix that. If you uh, get a warning that it's from the internet, uh, that's okay, you can go ahead. And the rest of the install process is pretty straightforward. Just uh, click uh, next at each thing. Uh, there's nothing really you change in the install, so just accept all the defaults and then click through until you're done. Once the installation is done, you can go off to your home folder in the Greenstone directory. You'll see the GLI or Greenstone Librarian Interface application. Double click this and it will run Greenstone. Unless, now Greenstone uses a web server, the Apache web server. Web traffic goes on port 80. What if another application is using port 80? Well, what app would do that? Well, Skype. For some reason, Skype does. If you have a conflict, port 80 already in use, your Greenstone library interface won't run. So you have to check to make sure uh, Skype is not installed. If you have it installed, set it not to use port 80, and you can run Network Utility to check to see if anything is using port 80. Now the Network Utility is in different locations depending on your version. In older versions, 10.5, uh, 10.6, I think, it's in the Utilities folder. And then, for some reason, they moved it. So if you're running uh, oh, new versions, I got 10.9 running here. It's in the System, Library, Core Services, Applications folder. Here we can see from the network utility that our uh, 
Ethernet address, uh, the IP address for our wired Ethernet is 192.168.0.23. So now we're going to check and see if there's anything running on port 80 for that address. And it turns out nothing is because I've stopped using Skype in favor of Google Hangouts. You should too. Uh, now we can just install the PDF box extension so that we can process more recent PDFs and we're done. To install the PDF box extension, we're just going to copy the PDF box folder from either the Dropbox or Google Drive or in the last case scenario, download it from the SharePoint website. And we're copying that and putting it into our Greenstone ext folder and then we're done and now the greenstone librarian interface is running and we'll continue on in upcoming tutorials for the next 10 weeks on how we can use this okay what we're going to look at now is how you can download the pdf box extension and install it into greenstone this assumes that you've already installed Greenstone. It's on your computer. It would be, uh, if you're in Windows, it's in the Start menu under Programs, uh, Greenstone 2.86. So there's two ways to get the PDF box extension. Now, one, you could go to the SharePoint website. Uh, here's the SharePoint. It's at faculty.fims.uwo.ca slash Nickerson slash 520. And if you go into the lecture notes area, and this is session one, we can see there's a PDF box uh, file up here. Now, this is a zipped archive of the files you need. To download it, right click on the icon, so the icon there, the zipped icon, and do save link as. And this will enable you to download it to your computer uh, wherever you want. For example, here I'm going to put it uh, where? I'll just stick it somewhere. I'll just put it on my desktop for now and I can save it. Then once it's downloaded what I can do is unzip that by going to my desktop right clicking on it. Here it is here. I'm going to move over. You can see it. Uh, there it is there. See there's the downloaded file and if I right click on it it brings it up this that says uh, what I can do is open it with Windows Explorer, uh, which is the default, and it will show me what's inside. Inside is a PDF box folder. I can right click on that, copy this, and put it where I need to go. Where does it need to go? Well, it has to go into your Greenstone folder. This is located typically in a Windows machine on C or users. If you're on a Mac, wherever your users folder is, where you are, here's my my user is called G Nickers, and in that my folder is there's Greenstone. There it is, Greenstone. And within Greenstone, we see an ext as the extensions, and I can just paste this in here, and it will go. That's all I need to do. Now, so that's getting it from the SharePoint. If you want to get it from somewhere else, such as the Dropbox, you can go off to Dropbox down in the LIS 9720 folder and we can see here it is. Now you notice it's already been extracted. This is a folder. Uh, it's not a zip archive so we don't have to unzip it. We can just select this and download that and it'll ask us where we want to put it and away it goes. See there's our download. Oh it is a zip. Oh, okay. It's decided to zip it up. So we can do the same thing we did there. Now there's another way of doing it. This is the web interface to Dropbox, the same way Google Drive has a web interface, but Google Drive and Dropbox also, if you install the free software, can be available from your desktop. You notice here on my uh, folders, I've got the downloads folder, all my other folders, there's a Dropbox folder. Ah, and in the 9720, we see week 01, right? And in there, we see there's the PDF box folder, which I could right click. And choose copy and then navigate down to where I want to go greenstone folder here there's my extension and I would just right click and paste it into there now why don't I just drag this in ah because dragging is not a copy it's a move if I drag this from here to there it can move it out of there so no one else can copy it remember this is a shared folder you're sharing this Dropbox folder with me and other people so don't 
delete stuff and don't drag and drop. Drag and drop is very dangerous. So copy it, copy and paste. If you're a Google Drive user and you've installed the software, you'll have the same thing. You'll have a 9720 folder. Here's week one. There's the PBS box folder. Right click, copy it, and paste it wherever you want to go. So that's how we can install the PDF box extension. Now, you don't want to have Greenstone running while you're doing that. Once that's copied over, then we're going to run Greenstone. So we've installed Greenstone, we've put in the PDF box extension, and now we're going to run it.